Sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, this is Enrico Nardini from Play Unplugged with another Play Unplugged TV unboxing. And today we have for you uh, the Hop in an Unexpected Ver Journey Riddles for the Ring. This is a Lego set. Uh, it actually more appropriately would be called Riddles in the Dark and it, it reflects the section in the movie uh, or the book in which Bilbo first encounters Gollum and finds the one true ring of power. And so what's it got inside? Well, it's got Bilbo with Sting. It's got Gollum and the ring. It's got this little rocky outcropping that Gollum kind of uses as a, as a home and also Gollum's uh, boat that he rides on. And of course I said big Gollum and Bilbo. So uh, let's take a closer look inside and see what we get inside this. Oh, that's convenient. Insert thumb here and open. All right. Well, not surprisingly, we get two bags of Lego bricks and an instruction book, which undoubtedly houses, yep, all the instructions for piece by piece to make it the way, you know, you would want to make it using this. So, Oh my goodness, they really make these things out of strong plastic these days. Hold on. All right. There we go, X-Acto knife. We'll dump the parts out. Um, this isn't a big set. It's probably the smallest of the Hobbit licensed uh, sets, but it is pretty cool because it has a lot of neat parts to it. Like here are two parts that would go together for the boat. Um, We'll take a look under the close cam at the minifigs. The minifigs are really the highlight, I think, of this particular set. Okay, so under close, you can see all the little pieces we get uh, with this set. And so one of the neat things about this set are, I'm gonna put together, uh, I don't wanna put together the whole thing right now. That might be a cool video to do later. And you could probably put this set together quite quickly. There aren't a ton, a ton of parts. There are a bunch of small ones, but there aren't a ton, a ton of parts. So there's some bones and different things here sting, but I am gonna to put together the minifigs. They're pretty cool. Um, let me find some of the bits, odds, and ends that I would wanna mess with. Let's dump these all out. All right. And then we can look at some of the cooler bits. All right, so first of all, one of the neat things is Gollum's body. So Gollum in this is not a traditional minifig. The other ones are. He is molded specially, uh, and he's in this great hunch position and a really um, wonderfully painted face, uh, very reflective of the source material and of the movie. Um, and Gollum's arms, you know, are, are kind of we, you know, they're kind of weirdly articulated too. He's got uh, some strange uh, wiry limbs that kind of hang. And an odd angle uh, and it's just like the coolest minifig really just one of the coolest um he has a fish we all know he likes a tasty fish so nice and sweet uh and of course uh it, you know you could always give him the one ring it fits on there really nicely it looks great and of course all these other pieces are really uh they're nice pieces as well and let me get Bilbo here. Here's his body. And so one of the cool things about this particular set, so here's his body, here are his legs. And one of the neat things is they've made, I just love this. So the hobbits are short and his legs, unfortunately they don't have the articulation so they don't bend, but that's a sacrifice they made to make him more in scale so he'll actually stand shorter than a normal minifig which is cool but and of course you can put you know like any minifig he's got a hand he can hold his stuff so you can give him the uh sword and he can wear the one ring uh they actually give you two rings which is kind of neat um and uh, uh and lastly this is i think one of the neatest features of these figures these particular minifigs are they have the face here and then you put the hair on, okay? And he looks great, just awesome. But that's one face. And then if you wanna show him in this particular one, the other one is, is him scared? Same thing, ah! Uh, so it's just really cool, very cool, neat little set. 
Very fun little set. And they give you a little bit of extra gubbins. Like I, like I said, there's an extra sword. Uh, tons of these little cool Lego bones that you could have scattered all around uh, to really try to remake the scene. So there you go. This was uh, Riddles for the Ring. Well, that was Riddles for the Ring, Hobbit set for uh, from Lego, for The Hobbit, The Unexpected, Unexpected Journey. Uh, you can find more awesome unboxings at www.playunplugged.com. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.